The pre-release version of Goodjot 2 is out with more than 1,300 improvements. Among these changes are both necessary bug fixes and exciting new features, turning Goodjot 4 into an even better and more polished tool for us to realize our game and app ideas. The most important new features include outstanding changes in its code editor and UI that will take your productivity to the next level. And now, let's start. So here we have the official post of uh, this version. I'm gonna be leaving the link down below in the description for you to check it out. Well, and as you can see, we can check out some information that I was saying on the introduction of the video. For example, uh, the amount of improvements, the fact that um, they included some bug fixes and also exciting new features. Also something that I didn't say in uh, the interaction is that we can expect this version to be released officially at the start of November. Quite interesting, okay? So here in this post you can of course find a lot of information about this version because as this is uh, a new beta uh, there are a bunch of things that you can check out yourself but today uh, we're gonna be checking out i believe which are uh, the most important highlights and features that are included in this version so let's jump to the download section okay i'm gonna click here and okay here i am on the repository and i'm gonna look for uh, my correct version that in this case is this one windows 64 you're gonna see that indeed it only takes like two three seconds something like that i'm gonna double click it as always uh, it contains two main files the console and the uh, ex executable so i'm gonna open it okay here i am and we can start noticing some small uh, improvement or well actually just changes uh, because for example here as you can see the layout of the buttons are a little bit different in previous versions these three buttons used to be right here but well now as you can see the three most used buttons are right here also something very cool is that when you click the import button previously when you click this one you will have um, this window open and usually what you do is to click here browse well by default when you click here import you are gonna be browsing around your files so it's quite cool because you can save some time in indeed it can help your productivity well uh, the new button and uh, the scan and everything like that works exactly the same also here, this button of sort, I believe, has also been changed. It's a little bit wider. Okay, now that you have seen the most relevant changes about the uh, main menu, let's actually click here, new. I'm gonna give it a name. Perfect, I'm gonna create a new folder. Leave the renderer as default. Click here, create an edit. Uh, we're gonna check how much time it takes to uh, load a new project and we're like in five six seven okay around six seconds super amazing the first thing i like to know if has been fixed is this green line you know this green line continues glitching as you can see but well as, as soon as you move a little bit the camera as you can see it doesn't glitch anymore we also continue having this blender error here that i know that can be easily fixed but it's so annoying having a warning as soon as you open a project but well let's start um with the interesting things in the code editor in the scripting uh and all that kind of stuff so in order to be trying out uh, the new things i'm gonna be creating a new scene with just a node there <coughs> and i'm gonna be attaching a new script a new empty script and well, as you can see and sit here, everything seems exactly the same or super similar to previous versions. Uh, first, I'm gonna save my script and everything, also my scene. Nice. And well, the first thing that is super interesting here is that you can use regions 
I mean. Code regions allow you to break up scripts into named blocks foldable and easy to navigate without it affecting the flow of the program. So for example, uh, let's create here the process function. Let's print something there. And now if we select these lines, we can right click it and click here, create code region or also alt R. Okay. And here, as you can see, we have a region created and we can fold this thing. And well, this is very useful because sometimes we may have uh, a very long script and well, one way of organizing it could be using these regions. Also, uh, as I told you, to create a region, you select the code, right click it, fold and fold line or a well actually create cold uh, region okay but well, other way of doing this is for example let's quickly create here the ready function okay and we can just type it manually i mean two hashtags region the name of the region in this case i'm gonna name it ready and at the end of the region we just closed the region okay and as you can see this arrow appear and we can just close it also, if we go to uh, editor, editor settings, and we go to a text editor and theme window that you can see, you can just scroll down a little bit. And we can find here some options in which we can customize the color of, as you can see, the code folding color and the fold code region color. So uh, we can just modify it, you know, maybe like this. And I'm going to do it. Uh, like this or maybe like a pink color okay and then here in the code code folding color i'm gonna do it like this and i'm gonna modify it to uh, let me see some also some maybe some blue for example okay of course you can put uh, the color that you want we can close this one i'm gonna delete this region okay and as you can see well i have customized here the colors of course uh these colors are awful but well the thing here is that uh, you can actually customize those things also talking about the coding and uh, the options that we can customize here in the theme if, if we scroll down you we can see here something that is new the comment markers regular and documentation comments are seeing some upgrades as well special to do markers such as to do fix me etc are now highlighting the code editor to better grab your attention as you can see here we can add some keywords uh, to the list so for example uh, let's try out these things uh, the only thing to use them is literally put a comment uh, for example let me close this thing uh, here would be to do Okay, and as you can see, it's highlighted with an orange um, color. Or also, well, there are some other different markers. For example, this one is a warning um, marker, but as you can see, we have critical, warning, and notice. So let's do a critical one, for example, alert. Uh, let me close this thing. Uh, why I can't type in? Okay, there, I alert. Okay, as you can see, it's with a, a red color. And finally, we have a notice color, for example, info. Okay, the cool thing about this thing is that firstly, of course, you can modify the color. Okay, so for example, here, the critical color, we're going to do it even more red. The warning color, we're going to do it more as an orange. And the info, more green, maybe something like that. And also you can add here some critical list, warning, etc. So for example, let's add one of each. So critical list, I'm going to be adding, you just put a comma and the word you want to use. For example, uh, security danger, I'm going to put here, uh, I don't know, subscribe. Okay, then here in warning. Um, okay, here I'm going to put like. Okay, um, like, and uh, finally here on notice, and here it's going to be comment, 
comment nice so let's now write those three new comments that we have created so it's gonna be subs subscribe like and comment okay and as you can see everything works just fine other new cool cool feature about this version is the possibility of actually changing the color of um, a folder so let's first create here a new folder okay and for example let's name this folder um script then i'm gonna create other new folder uh scenes and other called assets so i'm gonna drag and drop uh, the assets my script and my scene and now we can right click it and here we see a new option set folder color red orange yellow green blue etc so we can make it this red this one green and this one blue for example and well as you can see everything is completely colored we can even create for example here a new folder it's gonna for example images um audio or whatever and we can also here modify the color of this other folder for example green this color then i'm gonna select uh, this other and well uh, here you can continue having all the colors that you want again when you have a bunch of files that in game development you're always having a bunch of files uh, organizing them in this cool new way i believe it's also a plus to our productivity finally a shortcut that you could use well that we didn't actually try out is um as you can see if we select here create code region uh, alt r so if we select this region click alt r uh well as you can see here nothing happens i don't know why um here alt r well i will use something related to my nvidia um, uh gpu that is opening some uh, nvidia software but if for example we select a created region and we click alt f as you can see it folds the the region or unfolds the region well as you could see throughout the video this beta is super amazing with its outstanding features as usual godot keeps us updating and including new stuff that makes the engine better and better over time i hope you enjoyed if so please subscribe and like for more content have a great day